Hi, my name is Anjana and welcome to the Tech Girl channel. Today I have an exciting new product that I want to show it to you guys. It's a docking station for Mac and Windows. I've had a long search for a good docking station and I think we finally have a winner. This is the Tobin 1 UDS032 docking station. Full disclaimer, this unit was sent by Tobin 1, but the thoughts and opinions in this video are solely mine and Tobin 1 did not have any inputs on this. I was genuinely very impressed by this dock and I'm super happy to share it with you. So let's get started. Before we get to the product itself, I want to talk about two things. First, why did I and probably you need a docking station? And second, almost every single docking station in the market today does pretty much the same job. So how do you differentiate the docks and how to pick the right one for you? Let me answer my first question. Why do I need a dock in the first place? I use a Mac mini for editing and I also use a Surface Pro 9 for everyday casual use for its portability. This is the port selection on my Mac mini and these are the accessories I want to connect to it. The mat doesn't add up. This is my external SSD where I edit my videos directly off. This is my 4TB larger HDD storage. This is my SD card where I record videos too. I have a receiver for keyboard and mouse. I use two monitors for my video editing. There aren't enough ports to connect my peripherals. A USB hub would have helped, right? That solves only half the problem. If I use two USB-Cs for external SSD and SD card dongle, I only have one HDMI out. So I cannot use a dual monitor setup whatsoever. If that seems bad, look at the ports on the Surface Pro 9. There is no way I can use it with all my accessories. Even though this particular model is capable of dual monitor setup with high speed external SSDs. So how does it dock solve my problem? The Mac Mini and Surface Pro's USB-C ports are Thunderbolt port which can handle 40 Gbps of bandwidth. This means I can use that port to drive my SSD, use it for my external display, use it for SD card, for my HDD disk and still probably have room for more accessories. Not just that, it can be a one permanent setup for a multi-computer system. Normally, I use my Mac Mini with all my accessories. But when I need to use my Surface Pro with the same accessories, I don't need to unplug all the accessories from my Mac and plug it into my laptop, but just have all the accessories connected to the dock and simply connect the dock to my Mac or PC with one cable and enjoy all the accessories and external display. Second, what's with all the docks in the market and how to pick the right one for you? The USB-C port was supposed to be the savior from all these different cables, right? But that has opened up a ton of problems. The cables may look like a USB-C cable, but not all USB-Cs are the same. Some are Thunderbolt ports, some are USB 3.2, some are USB 3.0, some are display ports, some don't support display out. It's a mess. So if you simply pick a USB-C hub, it might not support all the accessories. If you want to extend your monitor to a dual or triple monitor setup, then again, the hubs won't work. So docking stations, especially Thunderbolt docking stations are made for this purpose to fully expand your Mac or PC with high speed accessories. But if you search for a docking station, they can range from $50 to $400. They all expand USB C both, but the difference is in their capabilities. Remember the problem with the USB C? Some might support displays, some might have high speed ports, some might have slower USB C ports, some may output another Thunderbolt port, some might not. There is a variety of choices. So, your part is to pick the one that suits your needs exactly. At the best price point possible. This one, the Tobin 1 UDS032 docking station, is the one that fits my needs the best. Even though this was sent by Tobin 1, the company itself offers a ton of different docking stations. And this particular model that I have is the one tailored for my needs. I have tried a few other docking stations, including this one from Lenovo, but the Tobin 1 stands out for a few reasons. If your needs are similar to mine, this might be a good option for you too. We'll go over its features and we'll see how it fits my needs. First, let's see what comes in the box. I already opened it for testing, so this is a recreation. Please don't mind. First, the dock itself. It's a perfect cube made with metal and plastic. It's so small in your hands. Images and listings make it look like it's big, but when you hold it, it's really very small. Also, most of the docking stations are flat and rectangular like this, but this being a cube is refreshing to see. Before we go into the details of the ports, what else comes in the box? You also get a 
150 watt power supply. This is not something that you usually see with a dock. A power supply is included because now the dock can power not just your accessories but even your laptop. I'll explain that in a bit after we unbox it fully. There is a power cable for the 150 watt supply and then there is a single USB-C cable capable of powering your laptop. High speed data transfer and all the accessories. Setup is simple. Plug in the 150 watt power supply to the dock using this port. Attach the given USB-C cable to a Thunderbolt port on your Mac or PC and the other end to its host port. That's it. Now you can connect external monitors and USB accessories to dock directly. Make sure your Mac or PC port you connect the USB cable to is a Thunderbolt or a capable port to transfer data and display. Their website has a very clear information on this. Okay, let's take a closer look at the dock now. As I said, it's very small and feels very high quality. The casing around is a solid metal. So, there is no flex or bends. I did not put it down, but it feels like it can withstand a drop. It's perfect cube, around 3 inches on all sides. And it looks pretty good on my desk. Fits under my monitor at the right spot with all my ports I need. One advantage of all the other regular rectangular docks in the market like this one is that it'll be a little easier to put it in your backpack to carry it around. Being a 3 inch cube, you can, but not easily portable like the flatter ones. Not that I'm gonna carry this around anyway since it's always attached to my monitors and power supply. Tobin One does have a flatter model if in case that's essential. Let's get to the ports. It's a 15-in-1 docking station. I'll never exhaust that many ports anytime soon. On the back, there are two USB-A 3.0 ports, two USB-A 2.0 ports, two HDMI ports, one display port, a power DC in port, a gigabyte Ethernet port, and a USB-C host port. This host port is where you will connect your laptop to the dock. And when connected, it, this port will power back your laptop at 87 watts. This means you don't need another charger cable to charge your laptop separately. This single USB cable will transfer data display from your laptop while charging your laptop back at 87 watts. On the front, there is an SD card port, micro SD card port, 3.5 mm audio and mic port, a light indicator, two USB 3.1 ports and a USB A 3.1 port. Before we get into the details of each port, I want to express how well thought the port selection and port positions are. The host USB-C port, the HDMI and display ports, Ethernet jack, USB-A 2.0 ports, which are all usually used for accessories like mouse, are all well categorized into sections and are put on the back of the dock. So when the HDMI cables, mouse, keyboard, Ethernet cables are all connected, which you usually won't touch frequently, it is all neatly tucked in the back, out of sight. The commonly used and changed ones like the USB-C ports for external SSDs, high-speed USB-A 3.1 port for thumb drives, mic, audio, SD card and micro SD card slots are all conveniently placed in the front. I really like the organization. Look at this Lenovo dock or even the other famous Thunderbolt docks in the market where the ports are all concentrated in the back. Second, the USB ports on this dock are also high-speed ports. All three ports in the front can support up to 10 gigabytes per second. That's over 1250 megabytes per second. It's also thoughtful to include one 10 gigabyte USB A port for some accessories like external SSDs. Even the CalDigit TS3 Plus dock costing close to $300 has only one 10 gigabyte port, two if you include the Thunderbolt, but that's usually used for display. On the back, there are two USB 3.0 A ports which can support up to 5 gigabytes per second. The remaining two USB A ports are USB 2.0 speeds, usually used for peripherals like keyboards and mouse. I want to talk about the display support on this dock. This dock can support two external monitors, one monitor at 4K 30Hz resolution and one at 1080p resolution. If you connect only one 4K monitor, it can drive up to 4K at 60Hz resolution. Even though there are three HDMI and display ports, that's just for port selections and the docks will only support two monitors at a time. If a triple monitor setup is your need, again, there are other models on their website which can fit your needs. So finally, this is my PC setup. The Surface Pro 9 has a Thunderbolt 4 port. I've connected the dock host port to the Surface Pro Thunderbolt port. A 4K monitor through one display port, one 1080p monitor through HDMI, keyboard and mouse receiver to the USB 2.0 ports, a 4TB external HDD to the USB 3.0 port, an external SSD to the front 10 gigabytes USB-C port, one USB-C cable for charging my phone at 15 watts, and an SD card mostly plugged in. Occasionally, I also plug in my 
camera to use as webcam in the front port. This frees up more ports on my laptop if I ever need more. While I don't need a charging cable as well because the dock is also charging the laptop while connected. When I have to switch to my Mac, it gets very straightforward. I just unplug the USB cable from the host port and connect it to my Mac. All my accessories, keyboard, mouse, SD cards all work seamlessly. One thing to note, my Mac mini is an M1 Mac. So the Thunderbolt port on my Mac only supports one external display. So I won't get a dual monitor setup through the dock. This is a limitation of the Mac mini port and not the dock. So for this case, I have connected my other monitor through HDMI cable to the HDMI port on the Mac mini. I just selected the source on monitor to HDMI and now I get a dual monitor on my Mac mini as well. This dock has worked incredibly well for my use case. I was also impressed by their selection of docks on their website. They all serve a specific use case. There is even a Thunderbolt 4 dock which I'm really interested in checking out. This particular dock cost $159, possibly with even more discount. I was equally impressed and happy with their support through emails and Facebook community. Do check out using the links in the description. I do have two feedbacks to improve on this specific dock. I wish they can add more USB-C ports. 7 is fine, but nowadays, how much of it is insufficient? Second, I'd be even happier if that additional USB-C port can be a Thunderbolt downstream port. Caldigit TS3 Plus offers a downstream Thunderbolt port, but their port selection is not as impressive as Tobin one. Also, their Thunderbolt port is primarily for an external display because they have only one display port, while the Tobin one has three ports for display. So, having another downstream Thunderbolt on Tobin one would be ideal. Not a huge deal breaker, but just refining it for my needs. Thanks again to Tobin one for making this video possible. I'll leave all the links and information in the description below. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you like such content. I'll see you in the next one. This is Sanjana. Bye-bye.